Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti working here as Functional Consultant. So, in our previous video, we started with Project Financial Management and in the Project Financial Management, we have seen the enterprise structure and organization for Project Financial Management and we have discussed the two tasks related to it and the other two tasks we will discuss in today's video. So, in our last video, we have seen how to create the business unit and project unit. In today's video, we will see how to create the organization and reference data sharing. Now, what is organization or organization hierarchy? It helps you in organizing your project organization, business unit, departments or all of them in, an, in a hierarchical way. From a management and expenditure tracking point of view, this hierarchy can be used. Organization hierarchy is not a mandatory setup. It's up to you whether you want to create the hierarchy or not. Project financial management can be enabled with or without setting organization hierarchy. Without this also, you can enable the task of project financial management. This is not a mandatory setup. So you need to classify your organization and there are two types of classification that are available. First one is project expenditure organization. In this, it helps you in capturing the expenses by a particular project expenditure name. And the next, next classification is project and task owing organization. It helps you in managing the security of project organization reporting and revenue accounting related to project organization. So there are tasks related to organization hierarchy. First one is manage organization hierarchy and classifications. You can see the classifications available for project financial management in the application. And next you have to create the department. And then to that department, you can provide the classification with the task manage project organization classifications. Once you provide the classification to this department, then you have to provide the access to the user for that classification. Now we will move to our application to see how it works. So this is our application. Now go to setup and maintenance. Here, change the offering, select project financial management. Select project organization. You can see the task here that is manage organization hierarchies and classifications. Now you can see here it is asking for type whether you want to create this for HCM department hierarchy tree structure or HCM organization hierarchy tree structure. So these are the classifications that are available for project financial management. These are the predefined or you can say by default it is provided to uh, project financial management. If you want to add more, you can add it from here. It is very simple. You have to select the available classification and you have to click on this arrow. And for removal, you have to again select the classification and click on removal arrow. So this is how you can select the classification from this list. Now click on save and close. Our next task is to create department. So go to workforce structure functional area and from here you have to select the task that is manage department. Now you have to click on create icon to create the new department. In the department set you have to give the reference data set and here you have to mention the name of your department. The rest of the fields are optional, so you can click on next.
you can give the other information that is GL cost center information, organization manager information, workday information, France department information. So these are the fees that are optional. These are not the mandatory fees. So as per your business requirement, you can uh, fill these fields. Now click on next. And then click on submit. So your request has been submitted. Now click on OK. Now here you can search for your department that we have created now. So this is our department that we have created. Now go back to our task list. Again go to function area project organization. And here move to our next task that is manage project organization classification. Now click on this task. Search for your department here. Here you have to give your project unit. So I am creating one project unit for this purpose. Click on create. Give the code here. Now click on save and close. Now go to next task related to project unit that is project unit option. So this is the project unit that we have created now. Click on it. And provide the default set here. Select this reference data set. And then click on save and close. Click on done. Now go to task manage project organization classification. So this is our department or you can say project unit. Click on OK. And the effective date, you have to mention it here. This is the mandatory field. So I'm selecting today's date and now click on search. Select this data and click on edit icon. Now here you have to provide the classification to this department. Now select this data again and click on continue. Now you can see here it is asking for classification. In which way you want to classify your department you can select here. Say if you are selecting it as classify as project and task owning organization. Enable this. Under this for what you want to enable this you can select it here whether you want to allow for indirect projects, for capitalization, for billing or for all of them, you can enable the checkbox here. Say I want to enable this organization for 
every of this task and also i want to enable this organization for project expenditure organization so i will enable it also you can enable it for one task or you can enable it for all now click on save and continue so you can see here it is asking for hierarchy this is a optional setup this is not a mandatory setup so if you want to mention your hierarchy here you can mention it say i am taking hierarchy that is predefined in the application now you have to give the tree version name and here you have to give the parent organization click on search give the parent organization here again click on save and continue and click on submit